we have built our API endpoints and we have also added model validations to it as well. We can now say that our API is ready to be consumed. But before we can make our API public, we have to understand the concept of authentication and authorization. In this section, we will learn what is authentication and authorization and why do our ASP.NET Core Web API needs this. By definition, authentication is the process of determining a user's identity. By using authentication, we check if we trust the user or not. This is usually performed using a username and password combination. If the username and password combination is known to us or the application, then the application tells the user that they are now authenticated. Authorization, on the other hand, refers to the process of determining whether a user has permission to perform a certain action or access a particular resource. Authorization can be based on various factors such as roles, policies, claims, and authentication status. Roles define a set of permissions that can be assigned to users. For example, after authentication, we will check if the user has a read-only role or a read-write role. Let's understand why do we need authentication. From this picture, we can see that if we keep our API open or public, anybody with a browser who knows the URL to the API would be able to get all the resources from our API and we will be able to modify the data that we have stored inside our SQL Server. If they have bad intentions, they can even delete all the data. This is bad for your application. You need to block your API from public use so that you can only add, allow authenticated users or clients uh, to be able to access your API. This way, your precious data will remain safe. Now that we know why authentication is important, let's also understand why authorization is important. Let's say you have trust in some application and a particular type of user is authenticated. Now you have get and post resources where a few users can only read this request. For example, you have normal users coming to your API, logging in and are able to get the resources. But you also have a particular type of user which is the admin user who are able to modify the data. So that way you are only allowing a certain set of users to modify or delete the data and otherwise a normal user cannot do that stuff. That is where authorization comes into picture. So now that we know how I authentication and authorization is important, let's go back to our application and implement authentication and authorization into our ASP.NET Core Web API.